Welcome back to Graveyard Keeper. We've got a crap ton of stuff with stories and what have you to take care of. But perhaps most importantly, today we're finally going to be able to start doing our own alchemy. And there's a lot to do with alchemy. Also, how am I not dead? Hey, I got bad news for you. <laughs> <laughs> MMO rating has taught me one thing. The only hit point that matters is the last one. That's right. And I am on the last one. Let's pour one out for the 0.1% wipe. This is something you can do with Wagner when you've got silver wine. You can give him, I think, up to five, and he will just give you Silver Star stories. But that's as much as he can do. You've ruined the guy. Oh. Oh. Oh, baby. <laughs> Worth a decent penny there. Oh, yeah. Money is slowly becoming less of a problem. Good. <laughs> Yay. I mean, fair. Can confirm geometry sucks. Look at me. I'm very happy. <laughs> yeah, but does the church have elephants? And do they pray? Snacks and drinks. Everyone, we're gonna go to the live burning for punch and pie. <laughs> Th Thorn, are you gonna. Are you opening a concession stand for the witch burnings? Concessions for death. <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't stock it with wine. But we do stock it with burgers. Who? <laughs> I I'd like to I'd like to have a little talk with anyone who has burgers and wine. <laughs> Just oh uh, shit! Where's the mute button on this thing? Where's the mute button? <laughs> Just, uh, yeah, I me. Mean, just a little, little chat. Just a little chat out here behind the studio. How far in the middle is your middle class? <laughs> Pretty posh. So, like, would you pair it with a Cab Sauv or maybe, like, a Shiraz or something? Like... Eh. Pair it with a wine. <laughs> Look, I'm a proper suburbanite, and I have my wine shipped to me based on an algorithm. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> hey, look at that. You did it. Serve the bergs. Just leave them out there for a while. Until we can make some beer, which will be a little while. You and it it doesn't count unless you have the burgers and the beer. People won't buy just burgers or just beer. You need both. Yep. And because of their impatient asses, they're gonna have to wait for the beer, and they're gonna have to live with these old burgers. Burgers are just sitting there quietly rotting. And they're like, look, I can't. What do you want? What do you want me to to have? Algorithmically shipped wine with these. Where's the beer? <laughs> Sounds like your pages are falling apart. Mm. Well, Snake mentioned... Yep. Thanks. Alright, I just won't remember anything then, game. <laughs> Do you smell toast? 
I don't care about your love life, I care about mine. I gotta get back to my comedy sized heart. Well, they didn't. They just kind of sat around being unpleasant. I mean, they still do that. Right. But now their storylines are progressing, I suppose. You should to be. Should to be. Or shouldn't to be. Literally, I've been here for months. Sitting on a spike. Hmm. For fun. I also use it for fun. <laughs> you like <the> pictures. <laughs> No kidding. Is that a sequel hook? The Necronomicon was here the whole time. I was wondering why the lighthouse did that every night. The light is twirling around and goes, Satan hail, Satan hail, Satan hail. <laughs> <laughs> Can you sit under my dresser? All his clothes kept turning into thrash metal t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy the maggots. Put them under the desk. Just walk up. Not for nothing, sir, but uh, about Esmeralda. <laughs> Wow, that's cold. You told him to his face that you were friends. I'm a liar. Ah. You'll say anything with your honeyed words. Just to get on the good side of the people who are burning people? Yes. Well, I mean, let's be honest. I wouldn't want to be on their bad side. Yeah. Fair. Aw, oh. oh, come on. Before you can actually talk to Cole, Cole you have to go up here and talk to the guard. And then you need to wait a day. Because he goes to the forest every night. I waited until night and was walking around wondering where the hell he was. He doesn't spawn yet until you talk to the guard. Nice uh, crash site down there. <laughs> yep, you can never go down there, even though it looks like there's stuff you could collect there. Like another skull for the skull wall. I should hope so. Zombie juice. Whew. Give me nature and brains. I should also study the mushrooms. The red mushrooms would break down into, I think, chaos fluid? Some kind of fluid that is really useful. Oh, it's it's also worth pointing out. I don't, actually, did you point this out? You can't break things down unless you've studied them. Right. 
Which can be kind of a hassle, because some stuff requires faith. Like that. You must believe in the jelly. Baby Jesus, please tell me everything I need to know about this goo. Please! Praise Jellius. Oh, praise the jelly baby Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah and amen. Baby Jesus has told me that this ash used to be a person. I'm the one who made the ash. I should already know that. Yeah, I mean, you know, I kind of followed the entire process through. Baby Jesus has taught me about weed. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> they don't call it God's green earth for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Far out, man. Far out. And again, anything that's actually used as an ingredient in alchemy, like the powders or even the ash itself, you don't need to study, but studying it gives you some additional experience and the like. It's mostly how you get blue. Ho ho. Ho ho. Uh, so there's something else that requires the red mushrooms, and it involves alcohol. So we'll be doing that later. That's another use for the mushrooms I just remembered. But I think it is also useful for breaking down into solution. Yeah, make that hooch. Hmm, with digestion? Sure, seems fine. Making some fences just for the blue points. Hey, I mean, if you get drunk on an aperitif, it sounds fancy. <laughs> Just make sure you vomit with your pinky out. <laughs> what do you mean I'm not invited to another party? I was so fancy. It's fancy as heck. I must have skipped so many weeks. I don't know how I got this much faith. I sure as hell didn't in one week. Yeah, no, I mean, obviously you had a few weeks going here, but I mean, that's kind of how this goes. Yeah. Faith is a huge bottleneck in this game. When does some kind of pastoral fugue and come out the other side with a heavy respect for God? <laughs> oh, man, did I ever sermonize my little heart out? Let's update some of these graves. Ooh. Look at all those reasonable points in this dead guy. He may not have been perfect, but he's usable. Work, thank you. Toss him, not useful. Nah, you can break them down for flitches, but it's actually not worth it. You're not going to be hurting for flitches. No, 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 no. Especially once you get the zombie tree going. And there's Coco. Hey, Coco. He's also useless. Eee. Big ol' stabbers. Yep. Kugel actually, he sells the, the best sword and the best armor in the game. Yep, the Damask sword with the gem, we need to make. Or at least buy from him if you have the money, which I don't right now, but we do need at least one of those swords. The gem makes it do more damage. Yeah, obviously. Right? It's just fancy. With a gem. And now I'm low on red. You'd think it'd be easier to make up for that. But it requires a lot of work. 
Yeah, after a certain point, not really. You kind of run out of stuff to gather. And your red really chokes off. Need more conical flasks. You only need a handful of advanced conical flasks to make a couple of things in the church basement, but you don't actually use it for alchemy itself. The regular conical flasks you do, you need a lot of those. Need to start getting more steel involved in here. And that's going to require graphite. Yep. Graphite we just used by breaking down coal. Here you go. Here's your demon book. Put it under your desk. I am one of those. <laughs> you give me the book. Oh, Munchkin. Have faith. Here, have five faith. I have extra. there. Three quarters of the way, in fact. Yes, up in my church, I'm definitely an expert um, at making satanic dungeons? Especially the Fountain of Blood. Oh, yeah. Of course. Every year. Okay, so we're not a quarter of the way there. We're three twentieths of the way there. <laughs> that is less. Yeah, you know. Getting some pertinent information here. Well, then put a lock on the t on the option. It'll be our final. D okay. All right. Intent. No wink, problem. wink. Nudge, I nudge. I hear ya. Of course, we need pumpkins. Need a lot more skulls, too. Oh, yes. I need like seven more. Maybe nine. We're just going crazy for skulls. I love them. Love skulls. Ripping them all out. Just, uh, there's gonna be an awful lot of soft heads underground. <laughs> And do remember, you need to double up all the stuff you need to make the fountains, because you make two. The polishing paste, I don't know if I can make yet. Just get one of those chocolate fountains and replace it with blood. Probably about the same viscosity. That actually... isn't a bad idea. Also brown. And, well, I mean... And you can dip marshmallows in it. 
She's... I mean... What is wrong with you? <laughs> uh, hey, kids, gather around. It's me, Uncle Yammy, who wants to have some sinner's s'mores. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man, there's only 15 minutes left to this video. We're going to need more than that to figure out what's wrong with me. We are, we are going to... I mean, we could start with the sinner's s'mores. Sitting there ruining a perfectly good shimallow. So important thing to remember about alchemy, there's actually two different benches that you make because there's two whole different categories for it. First regular alchemy bench has two ingredients. That's like a powder and a liquid. There's a second bench you make that has three ingredients and both of them make completely different things. Some of them in the three ingredient bench are just better versions of stuff you make in the two ingredients. But it is definitely a good idea to look up the alchemy page on the wiki just to learn the ingredients the first time. Once you've actually made a potion or what have you, the recipe is stored in the game, so that's nice at least. But uh, if you screw up anything in alchemy, you end up with a goo of something. The type of the goo is a hint as to what type of ingredient you should have actually used instead of what you did. So like, I ended up making goo of life, I actually needed some life essence or what have you. Don't quite remember what I was trying to make. On the plus side, if you end up with four of the same type of goo, you can break that down into the essence you were trying to make. The alchemy hurts my brain. Like, honestly, I just yeah. I just looked up on the wiki. First time I played this, I was I was streaming it, and a buddy of mine was, was in the call, and he was trying to explain what you just said about the goo being a hint. I'm like, that, that doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make sense to me. It's not a good hint. It's a weird hint, and it's a logical leap that I definitely wasn't ready to make. It would have just been easier for the recipes to be somewhere in the game, like you could learn them from people when you help them. Sure. Or for it to have any kind of internal logic whatsoever, but... Yeah, that yeah, too. What do I know? What, what do I know? I'm not a game designer. The white paint you mostly use for making better candles. Which is a good thing to invest in. It's also useful for making mime zombies. <laughs> <laughs> they already don't talk. <laughs> oh, I think they I think they talk. They scream in their hearts. Mm, same. Uh, they're little Frankensteins. They're obviously just little Frankensteins walking around like, How's it going? I'm a Frankenstein. The mortuary rack is storage. You want at least one. This is where we're going to keep our zombie juice. And you also need faith in order to resurrect a zombie. So... Not a bad idea to store. I think it takes five stacks of five down here. There we go. Now I just need a body. Nice. Everybody needs some body. Hmm. To bring back to life and turn into a slave. That's right. You work for me now. Oh, I'm just grateful to have a job in this economy. I just appreciate you giving me an interview. <laughs> Don't worry. You're working for exposure. And you will be exposed. They are the kind you get from staying outside. <laughs> you don't get to go inside the house. You're disgusting. Yeah. Render down those slowing globules. Presumably that would just make oil. Which, depending on what you're doing, would speed up a process. <laughs> I like it. I like it. That's pretty good. Ooh, depending on what you're breaking down, you might get more than just one of the solution or powders. 
because some powders and solutions, what have you, you can get from multiple different things. But in the case of order solution, you get more specifically from the green jelly than you would from something else. And that's another use for the crops that you grow. You get more of the life solutions that would have you from crops than from something else. Like, I think you can get up to three. Yeah, pumpkins are a really good source of it. There's actually very few places you get death solution and death powders. So if you got the black jelly, just go ahead and break it down. I did already make good headway into it. Speed potion is a very good thing to make. Make a lot of it. What mortician isn't hopped up on amphetamines? <laughs> Energy potion. You can take or leave. Like, I'm loaded on food. I don't need that. Wine's better anyway. I will sing the praises of wine till my dying day. Hot damn. If you're low on red, study your tools. Really good source of red. Well, you were playing video games. I studied the spade. <laughs> That's right. Crops are a good source of green. Graveyard decorations are actually a super good source of blue. It's kind of going to be your go-to. Alone paper, I need to go skin a guy. <laughs> Don't you have 10,000 bat wings, you monster? <laughs> I, kept, I kept throwing him away. I kept running out of space. Oh, you're right. Needed room for those lentils. Mm -mm, lentils. What do I need bat wings for when I can just skin a corpse? Ding ding. Zombie quarry. Just the right hand, though. Left is a completely different technology. Uh, I cannot smell gold yet. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's just guinea pig. Ah, I smell pepperon. Jeez, that lady playing the loot, her animation syncs up almost perfectly with the bass line. <laughs> She's just laying down a thick bass line. <laughs> I can't get over this. <laughs> she looks like Victor Wooten. <laughs> Oh, that, that's a hoot. <laughs> She's even got it slung way up high like Wooten does. <laughs> There's a bit of a fetch quest here, getting some perfume. I wonder if I have the time. You might be able to do it in one day if you do it early enough. I don't know that I can. A dozen of frogs. Tell you what, I'll just buy them from your weird, unpleasant sister. Marty, go into her. She's got an infinite amount. What would you do with infinite frogs? Have an infinite party. Ah, just an infinite party of frogs. Hi. Oh, yeah. Okay. Definitely relevant. 
All right. I mean, cool, man. Good to know. Ah, uh, shit. I don't have the other ten with me. Uh-oh. Uh... I kept them stored in here. Put them in your frog box. Wait. Wait. There, there you go. go. <laughs> Look, I'm trying to figure out if I have the time, because I think Miss Charm leaves right at night time. I think oh, I just what? made it. Ding dong. Ding dong, the frogs are here. Yeah. Yeah. I did it. Champion. She just kisses the beard. Just the beard. That's all you are. There's no human behind that. <laughs> the beard cries. This is just beard purgatory. Maybe I will. I don't tend to make stories so much as they show up around me. They just fall out of people's mouths. Just bleh, ugh, sorry. That certainly would be a story. Sorry, lady. I'm taken. Oh, she's still here. Okay, so she doesn't leave exactly at night. Hey, sweet. It may be a love story. I think I got it from Snake, so God knows what's in it. You're pushing it. Beard to man. Have a beard battle. The traditional way that men settle things. Wait, why do you need to bring a farmer's daughter? What is going on? It's just because she's friends with the farmer's daughter. Oh, I see, I see. And the farmer's an asshole dad. So this isn't like a human sacrifice thing. They're not going to like do a the purge situation. Not everyone is trying to burn everyone else. Ah, uh, you know what? I, I prefer to assume that people want to immolate me. And just be pleasantly surprised when they don't. <laughs> You'll never be saddened, I guess. Yeah, exactly, right? I wouldn't say she's an actress. She's more of a professional pain in the ass. Please stop. Wow. Well, please, please, okay. please stop that. Okay, sling blade. <laughs> what the fuck's going on here? Everyone is related to everybody here. Fixing the mill is very important for other stories, too. Good, I can make some pumpkins now, too. It's a pretty mill-centric kind of world. Pumpkin time! I... Don't think I need to buy pumpkins. I probably could if I need it for a mission. You need the silver one for cloth, though. But generally, the best thing is to plant them and work your way to making better fertilizers so you can turn them into gold stars. Did they patch this or something? Because, I mean, you're getting an awful lot of leeway. Because I remember the farmer takes off pretty much immediately. Or at least he did when I played. They must have. A dozen frogs. <laughs> <laughs> well, shit. in Latin. <laughs> in nomine patri et spiritus et 
Mill. Romanes Aunt Domus. After all that time we spent ragging on geometry, it turns out that we need it now. So don't know if you can see behind the tear locks, but that is the guy we buy hops from. Ah. So we got to get the mill fixed, or at least we need to buy all of his flour, sell it back to him, buy it back, sell it back until it unlocks the different tiers, and then we can buy hops and make beer. And then we can approach a witch burning with the gravity that it deserves. <laughs> Can we also make, like, little pendants and maybe some foam fingers? <laughs> oh, this is a witch burning, so you probably want the middle finger up for that one. <laughs> foam fingers that read institutionalized misogyny. Hooray. I heart violence against women at the behest of the state. <laughs> she helped with my kidney stone. Fuck her. <laughs> She's clearly a witch. Big old flashing signs that say she weighs less than a duck. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I think next time, we start making our own zombies. I can't wait. Industrialization is finally coming to the Dark Ages. <laughs> oh, and I think I stop having problems with faith and money. Yes. It's when the game starts to actually get a little bit fun. I am compressing multiple weeks worth of gameplay down to the important stuff, so a lot is happening now. We're past the midpoint of the Let's Play, in fact. So, viewers, are you having a nice time? Are you thinking of taking up a career in the mortuary sciences? Then get your zombie juice. Just get your zombie juice, man. And have a little faith. Oh, they're super good workers.